Hey guys, Barrier Nerf here, bringing you our review of Raytheon Toys' new dart lineup. They were kind enough to send us some for review, so we are going to range test these and check them out. Uh, at the moment, what we've observed is, bam! Oh, uh, I should I should take these out of the package. These are a squishy. Oh, there we go. Bada boom! All right, we've got a squishy tip that is not solid with a air hole, standard of a uh, Vauberry or Nerf Elite dart. A little bit harder than a regular Nerf Elite. The foam feels uh, pretty solid, fairly normal. Let's test these out. We've got this, this range set up as usual. We are at the 50 foot marker is where the fence is. So we're gonna, we're gonna give these a test. So if it hits the fence, it goes, it's going farther than 50 feet. Just in case anybody didn't, wasn't smart enough to figure that out. 10 shots. Woo! Okay, that was that, that was leaning a little left. Upper third of the fence. Bottom of the fence. Oh, there we go. Woo. Good whistlage on that one. We're using a tri-strike with a five kilograms orange mod work spring. All right. All right, let's go check it out. Let's and we'll detach talk, this we'll talk cam. about it on the walk. Yes, indeed. All right, so, so uh, initial thoughts, Mr. BFU. Every shot seemed to go about 50 feet. So you're getting 50 plus out of the shots, which is really good. Um, I thought the grouping seemed a little worse than FBJ. Well, probably like 20% worse than FBJs. We didn't put Pat out, but I could tell by shooting it. Probably about 20% worse than FBJs, but still decent. Better than, better than elites. Definitely better than Elites. Better and you're getting 300 of these for $20 on Amazon Prime. On Amazon Prime. So free shipping, yeah, so two no days. Wait. Yeah, two days, no wait. So if you need darts in a hurry, you could definitely do worse. Yeah, you could, yeah. It's way cheaper than buying actual Nerf Official. Um, you know, if you're really looking for that accuracy, you're gonna probably still want to go with FVJs or Koosh. Or the new AccuStrikes. Or the new AccuStrikes. But, but you are gonna pay a little bit more for but if you're But if you're a flywheel spammer with a high FPS blaster, these might actually be right up your alley. Yeah, the accuracy is not where you're going. Oh, this is my blaster. Oh, and yeah, there we go. This is my stringy thing for... Oh, look at that. Oh. This is like an extra bonus for you guys. Oh, look at that. Ingenuity. Yeah, ingenuity. Ingenuity at yeah, work. that's what we're calling it. You can <laughs> see my poor, my poor... You know what, though? It's sturdy, but it looks like crap. Yes. But I built this stock last year, and um, yeah, so I run it in every game. It holds a 25, 35... The bungee cord was because these kept falling out while I was running. So, gotcha. super, super ghetto mod, as only I can ghetto mod. Exactly. But anyway, So, Raytheon Toys darts. <laughs> Again, you could do worse. It depends on what your game allows. Yeah. So, you know. Buy them, over, buy them over Elites. Yeah, definitely buy them over Elites. They don't seem like they're hard enough to really do any damage. No, that too. If you have a concern about FVJs and hitting... Uh, welts and stuff like because FEJs will leave welts after a certain FPS. Yeah, I could say these are a good alternatives. These are these are a solid alternative. Sure. Uh, we'll we'll do a little bit of the weighing and cutting them open and all that, and we'll we'll cut to that. All right, guys, got a brand new pack of these. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. We're just gonna open a couple up and uh, take a look at some of the weight and all that kind of usual stuff. Bam, let's just get one guy out here. Pop this puppy open. Turn it on. All right, should be zeroed out. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is so difficult to get out. Okay, there we go. This should be, oh god, that's not going to focus at all. Oh, actually it is, okay. It should be 10 grams, so let's see here. Alright, that's pretty damn accurate, 9.998. Alright. So let's let it zero back out. Throw that guy right on there. You got 1.304 grams, alright, not too terrible. Let's, uh, let's grab another one and see. We're gonna, we're not gonna do all of these, but we'll grab a couple and see if they're consistent or not. All right, 1.321. Let's do one more just to 
see. 1.32524. All right, those are those are fairly accurate numbers. All right, let's uh, see how much of this is in the tip. Oh my goodness, this stuff is kind of hard to get off, especially one-handed. I'm like holding it against my body. I know that was sad. That was sad to see a brand new dart just get ripped like that. But hey, sacrifices have to be made for science. Okay, that's about as good as I'm going to get, especially one-handed. This glue is actually pretty dang good. I couldn't just pull that out. I had to, like, the foam ripped well before the glue uh, came out there. And these are, like I said, I mean, you know, there's a little hole. They're squishy. Let's take a look. This one we're not going to average because I want to destroy a bunch of them. All right. So about a gram in the, uh, in the tip there. There you have it, guys. These guys are uh, looking pretty sweet. So uh, back to the rest of the review. But cut it out. And we're done. 80 minutes.